What's up people? Welcome back to my blind playthrough of A Plague Tale Requiem. We're on episode 3 today. Uh, in the last episode, uh, we had we ended with some controller issues and some running uh, alongside Lucas. And um, I failed pretty hard at the end of the last episode. And I think uh, this is where we'll continue. We are running away and trying to find um, somebody who can help um, help Hugo. Because he's had another attack. And uh, Amicia is alongside Lucas. And they're running away from some soldiers who are enforcing themselves in the city. Soldiers turned bad. That doesn't sound good. Hey, crows! Anybody want some roasted bird? Archer, up there. Mm hmm. Yeah, this archer is really tough. You just shot dead body! Oh, come on! They knew right when I shot! Stop playing and keep your eyes open! Or you'll okay, be explaining have to, to Arno while we're empty-handed when he arrives! Arno? Okay. Arno seems to be their boss. Okay, there's no one in, in here. Guys turned around, let's go. Who, who, who saw me? Nah. Oh, this guy. Oh, I didn't see this guy. And throw a rock. Maybe over there somewhere. Oh, rocks won't work, so maybe a pot. But I only have one pot, so... Ugh. Okay, turn around, boy. Yeah, in the last episode we were following some symbols of the order, which is really interesting, which is kind of a little bit Assassin's Creed vibes. I'm not sure though what kind of order this is, but Baudin is a part of this and he's being hunted by these uh, men. Soldiers turned bad. Okay, the archer's gonna turn around and he's gonna see me now. I hope not. Oh, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> Find the camp soldiers. Okay, I'm gonna wait here a this. little bit longer. You can't fight a plague like this. Mm -hmm. Can't fight a plague by just killing everybody you see, bros. Um. Okay, so he's gonna look this way. And then he's gonna turn around and that's when I make my move. Try to get up here. Oh yeah, there is a prompt right there. Okay, Archer boy. Turn around. There we go. Come here looking for a damn alchemist. We find a musk grave. It's oh. fine. Let's just stay here waiting for death. Should I stealth kill him or should I just try and run? It's too close to go up the stairs. Hey. Oh man. Someone there. We have to hide. Okay, time for a pot maybe. Nothing. Yeah, go back up there. Go do your thing. Um I don't quite have an idea of where exactly we wanna go. I'm thinking up these stairs. But Probably gonna be a bit of struggle city today with this all this running and hiding. I wonder how mother will react to this. She'll deal with it. Who's She's there? strong. Not strong. Quiet. Show yourself. He's coming here. Who's coming? Is he coming here? No. Can't find a bloody thing. How do I get rid of the archer? Maybe a pot down there and then it'll just go down there? Huh? What's that noise? Okay, he didn't even react to it. The guy downstairs react to it. Dang it! Hmm. You can see me as soon as I leave this ledge. Oh, now I'm in real trouble. <laughs> what? Hmm. I must be hallucinating. 
Yeah, you are. Hallucinating. He's fiddling with his bow. Um, there, I think I can just get underneath him and then go. Yeah, this would be the time to do it. Yeah, get under him. Perfect timing with that guy too. And now I have to watch out for him looking this way. Ah, uh, camera won't let me go that high. <clears throat> but... Am I safe from that guy? Not really. You still see me. Um, this dude... Can't make out where he is. They're wasting our time. Try to yes, breathe. they are. We're making progress. Mm, thank you. Thanks for the encouraging words, Lucas. Okay. What now? Who was that? Oh, no. Nobody. Get away. I'm just gonna. More soldiers. Where are they? They're to be sick or up to something. Whew. We're almost out of here. Well, I got lucky with that last sprint. I wasn't turning around. I just kept going. And it worked out, so. More bogeys here, probably. Nothing here. Ooh, a pot. Nice. The way she grabbed it kind of reminds me of uh, Joel in The Last of Us 1. Just going like swiping anywhere and then get the item. Okay. That would have been a hiding spot. Um, is this not the way we're supposed to move on with the story? I think not. Okay. Ah, oh, 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 are you going to turn around and walk? Are you patrolling or are you just standing here? Because, oh, I could throw a rock over there and then sneak around this wall. But the archer is right there. Fuck. Oh, is this even the way we have to go? I think not. I don't know actually. Maybe just go down here and maybe go this way down that road. <laughs> this has been a crouch fest so far in this episode. The lack of a HUD of an HUD, um, very immersive, but a map or something would be nice at this point. I stealth kill him. Kill them. I am full on pots. Pots and pans, mate. Okay, maybe it is this way that it'd be able to go. But oh, this archer is really pissing me off right now. <clears throat> okay, we'll see what happens if we just throw a stone into this. Ah, noise. What is it? What is it?
Good. All's clear. Again. Someone's fooling me twice. Mm -hmm. Right, I'll find out. Ah, oh, damn it, that was so stupid. Ah, uh, run. Amicia, run. Why aren't you running? I'm pressing L3. Run. Don't jump. Oh. Uh, I was just trying to find if I could figure out where we have to go <laughs> while running. But for some reason, she wasn't running. Um, while well, pressing L3. Maybe I've got the button mapping wrong. Let me see. Um, controls. Doesn't. Oh yeah, sprint. Oh, it's R two. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. R two without aiming. Yeah. Okay, are we full on pots here? Yeah, we are. Okay, so the checkpoint was just after we... That guy down there is probably dead. Um... Who's that? <laughs> These guys have, uh... Very... I don't know what exact kind of British accent, but they have very, like... I know, I watch a lot of English football and some players talk like that, so... Um... Here. Yes, you did. And oh, this archer is really badly positioned, or well positioned from their perspective. Okay. Um. This might be frustrating for you guys if you've played the game already, um, but. For one, I like to take my time with these kind of games, explore, because we're probably not going to return to this arena at all later. Um, this looks like an escape route. Can we uncrouch and see if we can climb this? No, no boosting Lucas up. City. Oh, it's the codex. Sorry, I just saw this prompt of uh, press the touchpad. Um, maybe I uh, just try and kill the archer silently because I don't think anybody's looking at him. I was trying to do this all stealth, but I guess I might have to what kill the that? archer. And now I'm losing my mind. Yes, you are. And you lose your head soon, too. Oh, here we go. Be careful. I know what I'm doing. Amicia the sharpshooter. Amicia the sniper. The sling sniper. Someone's looking about. Stop looking. Yeah, yeah. Why, why are you being so dramatic about it? You guys are murderers too. Killed in cold blood. I'm gonna stealth kill you. Ah, oh, there's another dude. Oh, this, this guy has a... Mm. Okay, gotcha. So the archer doesn't have a helmet on. I can stab him. Oh, I'll just... Yeah, whatever. I wasn't even paying attention. Um, restart checkpoint. The archer does not have a helmet on. Maybe kill him in a way that the others don't see? I don't think that's possible. Someone or another must be looking at him all the time. Because he's posted up high. But this guy I can't sling, so I have to distract him. So, a sling and then a stone throw is probably what the tactic should be at this point. <clears throat> 
wait for him to turn around. Stop playing with your bowstring, buddy. positioning themselves. There's another guy that ran up. I'll catch you whoever did this to you. Okay. Hmm. Probably go into that doorway, huh? I could use a pot. I don't know, I'm trying to use the minimum number of resources. And I think I had like one shiv-like um, knife, which I used because it gave me a prompt. I killed one of those guys. Okay. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Run, Nisia, run. At least I know how to run now. Oh, uh, where are my Witcher senses? Hide under the table. Okay, I'm just having a bit of fun right now. This isn't <laughs> the most uh, optimal way of going through this area. Why did he not? He got like punched and I don't know what by me and. He just got stunned, and then I ran, and he's like, I'll catch you. And he's still doubtful about <laughs> if he's... <laughs> if somebody is here. Uh, oh, well. Oh, there's the other dude. He doesn't have a helmet on either. I could probably um, sling him. Make things easier for us. He's gone. Careful. If they know we're here, we have to move forward. Yeah, yeah. We're good. We're good. We have this area now. Ooh, don't turn around yet. Don't turn around yet. worried about this guy up here on the left. Hey you, back up. Oh. Hey you, what's wrong? Oh, there's the one guy. He's looking this way. Maybe throw a stone. My weapon wheel is R1, which is a little bit counterintuitive for me. I'm doing L1, but I think L1 will be like ordering other people in the party to do things later on. From what I saw in the controls, like Lucas could be sent to do something, or maybe Hugo can put people, uh, put rats on people. So I'm not gonna change the controls right now, but oh, this could be so close. Yes. Okay, the AI is a little bit strange. But I'm weary of the thieves, murderers, mercenaries, all the bloody scum that keeps getting in our way. Chaos rules our lives. They're part of it. And you're getting better at handling them. I see it. You didn't leave much alive back there. Yes. That's probably why we're still alive to talk about it. <clears throat> all right, skill tree time. Prudence, aggressive, opportunism. Okay, uh, better knowledge of alchemy. Amisha crafts alchemical ammo faster. Being conscious of person to fire or rest when she attacks in melee. Okay, so this is more like staggering and throwing people around. It's a grappler. This is more like me. Um, being silent. 
and more like Amicia as well. I mean, if we think about it realistically, like she would probably be more of a stealth person in this setting in this world. And then you have the codex. Okay. Um, Amicia will automatically increase the mastery of her three types of skills depending on your approach style and the tools you use. Oh, okay. So I've already got prudence. Or maybe I've got one of each. No, I've got opportunity. The bar is has increased. Prudence is not there. That's cool. I don't have to update them actively. I'll just... Yeah, this will be kind of like... This will describe how I've been playing the game, I guess. This is stealthy, um, physical, grappling, uh, pushing, and... Um, yeah, uh, slingshots and other ammo that we'll see. Like fiery slingshots and stuff that will come later. Probably. Okay. You smell that? Dead bodies. What is oh. this place? A hospital. Damn, dude. I think they used to live here. No wonder they all fell ill. <sighs> I can't get used to it. You don't have to. Looks like a nobleman, peasants. Yeah, probably a nobleman. Uh, this is like a quarantine zone of some sort. I don't know. A hospital that is turned into a quarantine zone, probably. Ugh. Come out, come night time. On sprint here. Um. Please tell me this is it. Oh, where are you, oh, Godon? God. It's a whole city. The symbol. He's in that tower. He has to be. Has to. Lucas, crossing this mess won't be easy or quick. It's the order. A high magister would just live in a high tower, no? <sighs> Let's just get there. Hmm. A high magister lives in a high tower. And we throw a bunch of pots to get to the high tower make of that sentence what you guys want. You sure about this? Well, it's the only way. Just be careful. Stand up. 
Oh, that music just makes me. Uh oh. Please don't hurt me. Calm down. We're not with those men. You live here? Yes. Rats. Rats. Yep. What? What is that? <laughs> They're here. Don't drop the torch. As long as you have it, they can't hurt you. But what do they want with me? Come to us. We have to go back up. The sun will protect us. Calm down. You're safe in the light. All right. He'll probably lose his mind and die. He will get the torch. There's more coming. A lot more. Keep moving! There's too many! Don't stop! Ignore them! Keep moving! Yes! Oh, holy shit. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Fuck, it's dark. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, we're in the light. We've got light. We're safe for now. We're safe. We're safe. Calm down. Yes. I... I need to breathe. We have to get out of here one way or another. I'll leave the torch to you. I... I'm afraid I'd drop it. Fine. Keep hold of me. You think we can get out of this? We must. Let's go carefully. I okay. knew it. I told you they were here. There are millions of them. How? How can there be so many already? Hugo, they're here for him. Wow, dude, uh, I just want to say the way they came out, and I read up on this, like, they're using a lot more rats and swarms in this game compared to the first one. And the way they were flowing, I wonder if they just are particles in a in a fluid. That's the way they've programmed the rats. Um, like, their animations, their movement, they're just like a wave of um, rats instead of water. Crazy. And it's showing me the drop prompt. I don't think I want to drop the torch at this point. <laughs> like, okay. Any loot here under the rats? At least this torch isn't going out like some, you know, some torches that you would get would be time limited in the first game. Oh, they're pouring in from there. In that window. Oh, here we go. Yes, that will hold. Look, they're climbing. What? How? This is so bad. We get to that tower, get Voda. Bring him back to Hugo and leave. Mm hmm. Well done. My materials. I lost all of it in the fall. We'll do without. Yes. Please don't drop that torch. Lucas lost his alchemy supplies. But I'll need my hands free. Mm -hmm. Okay. No choice. I can't believe you're leaving the torch behind. <sighs> okay. Oh, oh there we go. Nasty ah. filth. What do we do? Let's use a stick. It'll burn fast. <clears throat> we'll keep a straight line. Yes, very straight. Okay, this will burn, so I gotta, yes. I gotta be fast to get to the thing. When night comes, yes, nothing will stop me from getting out. Okay. okay, we go down there. Is there? There's another torch there. Okay, point to point. 
Uh, no wasting time, Amicia. Can you sprint? There you come. We really must get to higher ground. Fire's doing yeah. alright. For now. For now. Oh, don't burn out yet. Oh, good. One brazier at a time. We can make okay, it. Now, We're probably making it. Probably. There's a ladder. Going there. doesn't reach the ladder. The lock on that chain looks weak. I see it. The lock on that chain looks weak. We have a safe zone in there, so let's just go to the ladder. Mm, this is a safe zone because of the chandelier. Um, the lock looks weak. Something is gonna snap to maybe this thing. Ah, this thing. There we go. Yes, well done. Let's go quick. Um, no, we have a clear path. Drop it and climb it. Higher ground. That's better. I. Need to take a breath. Breathe fast. I don't know how long it's going to last. Breathe fast. Like, I think they've gasped enough for one day today. <laughs> Breathe fast. Really? A beam? It's the only way. Okay, we're gonna right. be walking beams. Steady. Wow. All Ooh. right. Just don't rush. Oh no 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 no! Oh no, he's in the light. No, I'm surrounded. The ladder. Get to high ground, quick! Yes. Of course it had to happen to me. Okay, at least there was light where he fell. Um. They're coming on to me. Stay calm. You're fine for now. For now. I won't let you down. You know it. Oh, Lucas. Brazier. Brazier, sorry. <laughs> um, that is what these things are called, I guess. Let me know if you know. Um, why can't I climb this yet? I need light here. I'm on it. Yeah. Good. I'll... That will do. I shall throw this onto that brazier. Yep. Locked on. I'll need yes. a stick to get across. Okay, I'll throw you a stick then. There you go. Right. Be fast, be brave, and don't fall this time. You can do it! Don't panic! Too late for that! <laughs> I really like Lucas. That was horrible. Thank you. Please stop giving me cold sweats. Let's keep going. One second, I... um. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, something came up. Um, all right. Let's go. Okay, we're getting on closer to sunlight. Maybe we'll get out closer to that tower. I Guess can't wait to hear Magister Vodan's plan about this. It better be a damn good plan. It will be. Yeah. So at this point, like this area was a little bit dark and I started feeling a little bit panicky. Uh, like the first game did that to me as well. Um, and uh, yeah, just seeing the rats been um, quite the... Uh, yeah, return to the world of A Plague Tale. <laughs> um, all right, do we, we have, okay. We have a beam to go across. Yeah. 
All right, I'm getting an important call. I'll have to make a cut here. So I'll see you on the other side. And we're back. So let's get back into it. Oh, no. We're going down again? We are. It's a joke. No. And Hugo's condition gets worse with every second we spend here. Your mother is with him. He should be fine. Really hope he is. So I can't get back out of this door, which means uh might have been some loot across that uh, beam um, back in the hallway outside. Or and now we're going downwards. Uh, downwards means rats. No rats. No, but they were here not long ago. Look at these bodies. Fresh. They're close. Careful. What is that? Is that a big pipe? No. <laughs> okay. It's just some um, shade and hallway. Oh, okay. Let's see here. Hmm. Oh, there's that brazier, chandelier, not something leer. Oh, what is that? Rails in the walls. It looks like an elevator. It could be a way out. Mm -hmm. Lucas, what is that thing? I read about this. It's an elephant. From Africa, R Romans used them during circus games. It's enormous. Look at its teeth. This is surreal. Yes. <sighs> There's enough bones around. Let's get out of here. Mm -hmm. Wow. The tusks were still on the the skull. Nobody poached them. That smell. Uh, I know it. It's sulfur. It's a smithy. It looks pretty closed. Let's keep looking. A crank. Let's see what it does. Sounds like. Crank it. You. Sure. <laughs> wow. I know. Do you hear that? Oh no. Please no. The rats. So many help. We're stuck, Lucas. No, no. Look at the platform. The brazier. It looks big enough to light the whole room. Yeah. How do we set it on fire? I don't know. Saltpeter, sulfur, alcohol, whatever we can find. Fine. These rooms are open now. Maybe we'll find something. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, these rooms, okay. That's sulfur, right? Yes. Some spilled on these planks. The chest up there might contain more. Fresh sulfur would be perfect. Let's get up there. Uh, sulfur has a pungent smell. I was once in a factory Crank. where they used... There's an elevator. I once visited a factory where uh, they are producing caustic soda, uh, sodium hydroxide and sulfur was a part of the process, and these yellow piles were so pungent. You're doing all right? Having the time of my life. All right. Of oh. course, it won't stay. Can I help? Good idea. Yeah. He said just started going down the stairs for some reason. Alright, I'll hold this and Lucas, you go and get the sulfur because you're the alchemy guy, aren't ya? Um, L1 to highlight interactive elements, order a companion to interact with highlighted 
object, point to it, and press triangle. Okay. Um, I'm trying to point to it. I'm pressing triangle. There's no prompt though. Do I do it without? Okay. I believe that thing with the wheels is the crate we want. Um, game mechanics, or is that uh, that is the trunk? Okay, that is the crate. So maybe I have to crank this and then press L1 and point. There's no highlight. What is going on? Okay, hold L1. Um, this might be a bug or I might be really not seeing something. But I'm trying to press triangle the whole time, and it's not doing anything. Maybe just go downstairs and see. We need to climb something to reach that chest. Ah, there we go, okay. Lucas, I need you to take care of this. Okay. Of course. The other way around. If I can, I'll swap L1 and R1. You're not that heavy. <laughs> Good to know. Because L1 to me is always weapon wheel, and R1 can mean... Holding. Um, ordering my... Some time. ...companion around. But... Come on. On your go. I want it. You can let go now. Naturally. Not. Don't find it. <laughs> we need to move faster. I'm worried about Hugo. The tower's not that far. As soon as we find Vodan Hill. We don't even know if he's in there. And with the rats. And those mercenaries. Hey. One thing at a time. Yes. Good. Here comes the sulfur. So, found anything? You were right. It's sulfur. Yes. Now that is very good news. Mm hmm. And now we slingshot the sulfur to ignite it. Right. We need a second element. Oh, we do. Then we'll craft an ignifer. Yes. Remember? Ignifer. I forgot about this. Let's check that other room. Ignifer. Meat stock. We need a preservative agent, like alcohol. Maybe in that chest. All right. Let's try to keep these rats occupied first. How do I keep the rats occupied? By probably, yeah. That's good. But it won't be enough. <laughs> that is exactly how I react to like people saying don't worry or I don't know don't or be careful not don't worry people say be careful oh no no, no. I'm not gonna be careful <laughs> uh, okay can't get down here oh there it is so like this bam oh they climb up it looks safe. Good. Let's get to that chest. They still look like they haven't eaten in a million years. 
Mm. Rats be hungry. Where is it up here? I couldn't see. Oh, maybe this. So, what's in it? Alcohol bottles. Booze. Yes, that's good. Very good. Come back. Lucas the orchestrator. He was standing right next to the ladder. I could have asked him to get it. Maybe. <clears throat> good. We have sulfur and alcohol. It's one of the best bases for an ignifer. Highly reactive. Mix them together. Ignifer. I love that thing. It's a lifesaver. Mm -hmm. There we go. Ignifer with the sling. That's left and right. We've got three of each. Extra craft. There we Done. Go. Shoot it at those embers with your sling and, well, hope that it works. Okay, so one sulfur and one um, alcohol makes two ignifers, which is good to know. There we go. Wow. What the hell? That was highly reactive indeed. Thanks, Lucas. That ignifer will be more than useful. Now, let's try to get that platform down. I think I've seen other cranks around. We'll have a look. Mm -hmm. There are our cranks. Up there, under the arches. Yes, let's try. Which arches? There's arches everywhere here. This was the place we got the sulfur. Down here. Oh, oh, oh. Probably, yeah. Wow, that's a lot of antique jars. I can easily picture a crowd getting heated with wine while gladiators fight. Yes, some things never change. Okay, so this was a little bit of a loot room. I'll still try to... Yeah, we have plenty of resources. So, I'll still try... Ooh, what? No, don't throw it. Like, sling it! Damn. This is funny, like, how she can hold the burning thing. <laughs> um, no fire damage on the Mithia. Or spark damage. Okay, there, brazier. That's the old crank. Um, he said something under the arches. That is another one. Oh, it went out, did it? Is this another area? No, it's the same room. The braziers went out. Uh -huh. This one's still on. That's good. Hmm. Now, this art is definitely in position. Oh, this crank is definitely in position. Um, this was the meat room, flash alcohol room. Can't go down there. Convenient little ladder here. This was the loot room, I believe. Or was it? Do I have to go through here? I don't think. I don't think so. Oh, there's the... Oh, okay, that's the crank. Um, gotta get... Maybe that cart. That we used to get the sulfur. Move it, I can just climb it. Um, that's the prank. I got it. 
Hmm. Okay, how to get to that platform? Probably from underneath then. I think we're gonna need more fire. Oh! Uh, dialogue was different than the subtitles. He said fire and the light written. What now? Cages. They had other beasts in there. Whatever. Uh -huh. Let's That's light this place up. This was a different room. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I got turned around. I thought this was the same room before. Okay, time to ignify. There are still rats left. That clay pot you have, it could concentrate the effect of an ignifer and release it on impact. Go on, try. Any effect can be combined with a pot. Okay. Ah, so ignified pot. It's done. Try to make a brief fire. Now. Yes, move. Well, okay. That was a great idea. Pretty easy. You just need a pot. And then we get our normal sling. And we feed them some meat. Um, see that I can back some ignifiers. Keep the sling equipped. I'll climb up here. This area looks okay. I think they'll be busy on this forever. On the meat, that is. Ah! <laughs> the stairs! There we go. Alright, let's move this beast! Lowering the main brazier. Uh, that thing is too heavy. That's what the crank on the other side is for. You need two people. Okay, then All you right. gotta. You stay there. I'll go man that other one. I'll wait for you. Go. Uh huh. This is it, Amicia. Hopefully. If someone had told me we'd have our own circus games. If someone had told me the world was about to collapse again. Oh. Okay, teamwork. I hope he means this oh, one. This crank won't do much more. I need oh. to find the other one. Oh. That one, okay. Oh, the other one. God, have I been slow today? <laughs> um, a pot and an ignified pot, and make my way through here. To the light, safe spot here. Uh, one more pot. Maybe this will be enough to get to that ladder. Or is there any meat hanging out? Hanging anywhere? No. Okay. Yeah. Okay, she doesn't get fire damage. Amicia is oblivious to fire. She can hold that ignifier in her hand, nothing happens, and she can go through the blaze. To the crank now. Time to get that lift down and get the hell out of here. All right, mm. Lucas, I'm there. I'm waiting for your go. It's working. I can't believe it. Thank the Lord. Yeah. This is it. On your word. What? Uh, on my word, what? Get to the left. There we go. Steady. Huh. How did we do this? Ooh. With exceptional skills and resilience. <laughs> it's starting again. Do you realize what that means? I do. But we've been through this before. You saw how they charged us. The way they move. They're faster, more agile, more intelligent. But we made it. Barely. Let's find Magister Baudin. With the Order by our side, we won't have to face this alone anymore. I really hope that you're right. Oh 
man. Oh, look at those shadows. Love it. Love it. Love the visuals. Um. Hmm. Please tell me we didn't stray from it. Yes, the tower. We got a bit closer now. A bit, but I'll take that. Great. Um, I think I'm gonna have to call it an episode at this point. Um, there is. Uh, let me just switch. It's been a fun episode. Started off with um, sneaking around, trying to figure out, you know, um, slinging people without helmets, and then uh, getting past people with helmets. These weird bandity soldiers, and then a bunch of rats. We saw our first rats for uh, Requiem in this episode, and um, yeah, a puzzle solving uh, part as well with Lucas. I really enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you liked it, give us a like. Uh, leave a comment down below if you want more. And subscribe. And uh, I'll catch you guys in episode 4. Ciao!